is hard to say when the 1970 Black Power Uprising actually began. For some, it started with the February 26 protests by a group of young people who traveled from the UWI to the capital city to voice their displeasure with the St. George Williams University in Canada. There had been a riot at the school a year prior, stemming from charges of racism leveled at a professor on the Canadian campus. Several Trinidadians were involved, and students at UWE, in solidarity, held a demonstration in 1969. One year later, the UWI group decided to recognize that anniversary with a protest targeting the Canadian High Commission. So the 26th of February, you all started at CityGate, walked across to the Canadian High Commission, which is now the Ministry of Legal Affairs, walked up Shakon, came across to the Royal Bank of Canada, headed towards Piccadilly, and stopped by the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Yes. Talk to me about what, ha what happened when you left the cathedral. Oh, after we left, we decided we were going behind the bridge because the route or so were not planned, you know, as to where, but as the plane, you know, was developing. Uh, at two o'clock, when we came out of the uh, cathedral, at that time you had, you had um, Radio Trinidad. Winston Maynard was the um, announcer reading out the news, and then he phoned, he telephoned the Archbishop Anthony Pantin and asked him for a comment of the desecration of the cathedral. And Archbishop Pantin said from all the reports that he have got, there has been no desecration of the cathedral. Everything is intact, okay? And sometimes I say to myself, I wonder whether the whole of the hills heard that. And therefore, just as a juve morning, the whole of the hills came down. Yeah, and they joined and then it became thousands. We went around Piccadilly Street. And when we reached at the corner of Park and Frederick Street, uh, the media was saying that the demonstrators were now about 10,000. When we reached where excellent trading is there now, that was Woolworth, F.W. Woolworth. And Macandal turned to me and he said, boy, we can't just end this demonstration. I mean, look at what is happening, tension in the city, right? And the idea came to me and I said, look, let's take this demonstration down to Shantytown, right? Which then became Beatum Estates and subsequently, because it was the first boardwalk in Shantytown there, people, because when the tide came in, they were, they were literally in the mangrove, so that, um, and that was the demonstration. When we reached down there, the first words that were uttered to the demonstrators, this represents a symbol of neglect. On Tuesday, we will discuss Black Power Day, April 26, when 50 persons associated with the uprising were detained on Nelson Island because the then Prime Minister, Dr. Eric Williams, had declared a state of emergency. This is Macandal Dagger when he was still capable. Sweeney Gray, C News.